Welcome to our third mechanics video podcast. Uh, this one is on resolving. Resolving is um, a relatively straightforward idea. I, I always seem to end up illustrating it with exactly the same example, but it, it serves its purpose well. We're just going to imagine a sledge, a child pulling their sledge through the snow. Uh, and as you would expect, they apply a force, a tension in a string, and that, and that drags the sledge, sledge along. Uh, and they might, we might know, perhaps using a force meter, how many newtons of force they're applying. But it's quite clear that this force is having two separate effects on the sledge. One effect of the force is it's lifting the front of the sledge. And we can imagine a child with a very short string mainly pulling the front of the sledge up and not doing a very good job dragging it along. Or we can imagine this force is pulling the sledge forward. There's a component pulling this uh, sledge forward and a component pulling the sledge upwards. And these two components add up to create this 20 newton force when we treat them as vectors. So if we want to find the magnitude of these two components, we'll need an angle. So if we imagine that this angle here is, say, 30 degrees, we've got the two components at right angles. And um, because sine 30 equals opposite, which is what we want to know, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 20. The opposite side, this side here, is equal to 20 sine 30. So this side here is 20 sine 30. Uh, that's its magnitude in newtons. And the magnitude of this side, if you follow a, a similar thing from cos 30 equals adjacent, that's the adjacent side here, over 20, that's 20 cos 30. Um, the thing we have to watch for is that this force, although we've calculated it in this position because it makes us a nice right angle triangle, it's actually acting here. It's actually not lifting the sledge right out from here. It's, it's acting uh, from over here. And we now know, if we wanted to know how much force was pulling the sledge up, how likely the sledge is uh, like to lift off the ground, we can use that force. If we wanted to, say, calculate the work done dragging the sledge or find out how much force was uh, moving the sledge forward, um, we would use that force. Uh, we'll move on in the next video podcast to looking at how we use resolving uh, to solve problems.